Hello everyone, this is the Lamley Vlog, the next episode, I can't remember the number, but that doesn't matter, what matters is in this box, it came from Japan, and we're going to open it up, it is the latest Tomica Limited Vintage, a lot of you I know are Tomica Limited fans, some of you have already gotten this, I got this box this week, and I've been waiting to open it for you guys, this came from Japan Booster, they are a sponsor of Lamley, they send me these cars so I can show you. Um, but one way or the other, I would be acquiring these because Tomica Limited Vintage is the best 164 brand there is. And there's some amazing stuff in here. So let's get it all out. Let's take away this dumb box. And let's have a look-see. All right, let's start here. Let's just start off with a bang. A few months ago, Atomic Limited Vintage introduced their Mazda 626. And here is the second color. All based on real racing cars. There it is. Of course, we'll open it up here in just a second. And then I'll pull out the other Mazda 626 as well. Comes in three pieces, the full body and then the two, two tops, two engine covers there. You can see here, there's a lot of writing. I don't understand. That might be the driver. I'm not sure. But there it is, Mazda. Did I say 626? I meant 787B. Don't uh, quote me on that. That's the Pasadena area code. And that's quite the, uh, that's quite the mix up, if that's what I meant. 787B, a couple antennas you can put on it as well. <laughs> I don't know. Some of you probably had a heart attack if that's what I did say. But can't go back in time now because I'm filming. All right, next model. There are just certain things that Tomica, did. well, Tomica Limited Vintage does everything well. So they do the race cars really well, they do the cars which are showing over here, and they do the trucks tremendously. We'll get to that in just a second. This is the Hino Ranger, KL545, a hauler truck. You guys know, I've shown these, uh, the Atlas hauler they do, current and vintage, it's just amazing. Remember the designation, Neo, I don't know what the year, Neo obviously means newer, so standard Tomic Limited Vintage are the older cars, probably like 50s, 60s, 70s era. Neo is 80s up. I'm guessing. I don't know the exact cutoff. Okay. Then there are four cars. So there are six models in this particular release. This is the February release. Love my Japanese police cars. Love my wagons. So yes, that's a no-brainer. It is the Toyota Crown Van in a police deco. Oh, let's get this is this is what everyone wants right here, and then we'll get to this one. Also from the Neo line, everything's from the Neo line this time. There's the model number LVN160C. This means it's the third release of this particular casting or this kind of casting, meaning the details, because they'll change the details on them if they have to. Nissan Prairie Estate. All right, so 787B, not 626, Hino Ranger, Nissan Prairie, and the Toyota Crown. This is the big release of um, the February TLV batch. It is the Honda Civic Type R. This is the EK Civic. We haven't seen a ton of EK Civics being done in 164, and so... Tomica Limited Vintage might as well do it, right? One in silver, one in white. Let's go ahead and open up the white one, and then I will break away and just show off all the models out of their packages. Japan Booster sends these. This is not standard. This is something that they do. It's really cool to keep the box protected because some people are really into the box. I keep the boxes because that's how I store these. I don't store them in my um, standard cases. Okay. Check that out. All the details, try to go not to go too close up. Mirrors, headlights, the white rims, 
This is a perfect, what, 90s era car. There's the base. All right, should we break away? We should. Okay, there's your family. Except what's missing, a little for dramatic effect. Do, do, do. Let's bring in the Mazda 787B. Back that one up. And then its counterpart, the winner of the Le Mans race that they released a few months ago. Go ahead and back that one up too. How is that cool? I showed you playing with cars. How cool is that? All Tomica Limited Vintage. All right, let's get in the box. All right, we're going to start with the Hino Ranger because it barely fits in the shot. Tomica Limited Vintage, I've said it before, no more, no better detailed models than these for a lot of reasons. Number one is scale. They are strict to scale. So this truck compared to, say, this Honda is perfect in terms of scale. Uh, 164. It's the, the, the size comparison between those two models would be the same as the real Honda sitting next to the real Hino Ranger. Therefore, if it's a bigger truck, it's a bigger truck. The other side of the detail, you, well, you can see all that, what makes these so accurate. They will do everything needed to make these look exactly like the real thing. Lights, side detail, front detail. You can see these little indentations right there. That's for the side mirrors. I'm not going to put those on right now. You actually have to glue them on. And that's because they're so fragile, they would not survive transport. So... Um, that's just something that they do to make sure everything stays intact. These are high, high quality models. I'll even show you what the base looks like on these. Look at that. See the double tire there? The spare tire. It's rubber. Everything is accurate on these things. That's why they're so expensive. These are not cheap, but they're worth it. I get mine, like I said, at Japan Booster. All right. Let's move these. This is the uh, Nissan Prairie wagon. One of those probably more appreciated in Japan type of models. Still, look at all the detail. This looks like some sort of media car, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Those in Japan would be able to tell me. It's a pretty one. But I don't, you know, I don't know. I'm not too familiar with the Prairie. There's a quite, they've released quite a few of them. This one is my secret, my, well, there's more important models in this batch, but the Toyota Crown Wagon, when they released this, this is one of my all-time favorite TLVs. This I've actually seen a Crown Wagon in person here in the United States. JDM Legends had one, and I just couldn't get enough of it. Kind of that family wagon feel, but with a, well, not kind of, it is the family wagon feel, but with a Japanese look to it. Uh, I love the front grille and the rear taillights of this one. So unique. Really, really pretty. All right, let's get to the big releases here. Number one is the Mazda 787B. There's the first one. This was released, I believe, in October last year, maybe September. I cannot remember. This is, when you say 787B, this is what people picture, is the number 55. This is the one that won Le Mans, has the red, or the orange and the green deco on it, but Mazda did several. And I... Um, and I'll uh, move this one out of the way just to preface. This is one of the other ones. I don't know if this is before or after. All those details are on the box, but it's written in Japanese, so I don't totally understand it. But as this one's rolling around, I'll let it roll around one more time to check out the wheels. You got those discs in the front. Hot Wheels, you notice, did one just like it. And then those five spokes in the back. Look at the headlights. You've got the glass in front and the headlights behind. And then here's the other cool thing. To try and do this right here. There we go. You can take the engine cover off and you can take the front off. That's what makes these models so expensive too because they're so detailed. Uh, Tomic Limited Vintage did these with the uh, super silhouettes. I've got to feature those here on the channel. I featured them tons of times on the blog. But you're a lot, you can take these cars apart, kind of, you know, two pieces. But 
gives you a sense of what these are made of. Just super, super cool. That's the second 787B. I wonder if we'll see more. I wouldn't complain. Here's the one that I think got, have got people so excited. So one collector said these will be the death of me trying to get all these Civics as they release them. I think they have a couple more colors coming out. These Civics, for a million reasons, um, are really popular with collectors. And you are prob that's probably why you're watching this video. This is the EK. The EF Civic is done by Hot Wheels. Um, anything that's Civic is going to be popular now, partly because my generation and younger, we grew up with these. And sometimes when you hear, so, oh, I want to see muscle cars. Well, we like muscle cars too, but that's what you grew up with. And I still love muscle cars too. And I think all of us can appreciate everything. But when you have a connection to a car because you grew up with it, your friends had them, you might have had one, your family had one. That's my case with Hondas. Just has you connected, just lures you in. Then these were high performance cars, these are drift cars. There's a million reasons why these are beloved, and you can see all the detail here. The white rims are fantastic. Details on the front and back. You can see the racing seats because it's a Type R Civic. TLV doesn't do usually do the souped-up versions of these cars, but they did the Type R here. Like, I, think I think there's even... If I um, don't know if I can show it, but there's even... I don't know if there's even a show in the light here. There's some sort of logo on the seat. See that? I think that's the Type R logo. But look how close up you have to get to do that. I'm going to show you a couple of other, the, that kind of 80s, 90s era Civics, or Hondas that um, Tomic Colored Vintage has done. They did the Prelude. This is the first Prelude they did. Um, this is one that's very, I think was real popular. Rio Asada, the Hot Wheels designer, loved this one because his dad had that exact car. We've seen the uh, CRX. They've done quite a few versions of the CRX. Again, you can see all the details there. And then another Civic hatch. They've done quite a few of these too. So it made perfect sense to do the EK. This is actually a Civic that my wife had. Not this fancy, but... She just got out of college. All right. So, and then we go with these. So we have the white one. You've already seen that one. And now gray. The white one's the star, but the gray is better than I thought. Why would I think it would have been bad, though? I didn't think it would be bad, but it's, it's super nice, too. It looks really, really good as well. All right, guys, that is the February batch. There's a link down to Japan Booster if you're interested in these. These Civics, they sell super quick, so you got to keep checking back and checking back um, when they relist re re them. Um, but they try to as much as they can, and uh, but they'll sell out quick. All right, guys, i got another feature coming up later today. Bye!